Hey, what's up everyone? This is John from OpenLearn Sec with another Naked CTF video. Uh, it's been some time since I posted or uploaded anything and that means my own learning journey has been uh, somewhat stalled. Um, I'm learning in the open to keep myself accountable and try and push things forward as well as share the, uh, you know, the ins and outs of what I'm going through in order to obtain my OSCP and hopefully it's useful for anyone else who's in the same situation or might be studying pen testing or offensive security or just generally interested in this kind of stuff. So to be accountable, I need to be accountable. And uh, yeah, it's been some weeks since I've done uh, any sort of uh, study or lab or anything like that. Um, so we're back today with uh, a box from Hack the Box. Jerry, nice, easy Windows machine. We'll start in adventure mode. Uh, go to guided mode and use the write-up if necessary. Um, naked CTF means this is the first attempt. So uh, this could be a 30 minute video. It could be a three hour video. Let's just see how that goes. So with all of that said, let's uh, dive in. Let's start with our enumeration. Uh, I've got my nmap command ready to go. And it fails because there is no ping. So probably the first thing I want to do is ping the actual host and make sure that is the case. It does respond to a ping. Okay. Um, let's add the suggested flag, which is PN, no, capital PN. And okay, now it's scanning the top 1000 ports. We've already found 8080. This is a Windows box. Um, and now it's moved on to service discovery, trying to figure out what is running on port 8080. Uh, what we will do after this is we will run um, another scan into another file and we will add the switch for all 65535 ports, 65,535, but that'll just take a bit longer. So we want to make sure we go beyond the top 1,000. So let's let that run. Uh, in the meantime, we've got this uh, information back about port 8080. So we'll just grab a copy of that. And we're going to paste that into our notes. So trying to get better on the note taking stuff. Um, we can see port 8080, Apache Tomcat uh, running JSP, engine 1.1. Uh, Apache Tomcat 7088. So we may want to see if there's anything interesting with that particular version of Tomcat. Um, Apache Tomcat on Windows is not super common. I normally would think that, you know, Apache Tomcat would run on uh, Linux host instead, but it's I'm sure it's an entirely supported scenario to run on Windows. I know that there is some um, backend abuse that you can do with Tomcat in terms of there's default um, management and administrative pages as well. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head what those are. So we'll definitely take a look at that. We'll probably need to look up hack tricks and that sort of thing. And while we're waiting for that, so this scan is about 23% done. Let's just fire up um, port 8080 in the browser and see if there's anything uh, interesting listening on the other end. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like this is the uh, Tomcat default homepage. And here you can see Server status, uh, okay, which is protected by basic uh, authentication. Let's try admin, admin, <laughs> admin, admin works. Oh my God. Uh, so let's just, you know, that was not a fluke. I mean, that was a complete fluke. Uh, Tomcat slash manager. Let's just do Tomcat manager, manager default credentials. And it is admin admin. I mean, I just picked that because it's always the first one to try. So it looks like we've got access to this uh, admin backend uh, thing, um, which is cool. So that's the service. No, that's the manager app. Okay. So this is interesting because I know with the manager app, you can actually upload a uh, jar or an up upload an, an application. Um, so we need to figure out what is possible, like what we could abuse here, like lists, um, lift applications, 403 denied. Um, 
for example, to add the manager GUI role to a user Tomcat with a password of secrets. So you need to be sitting in this uh, Tomcat users XML. Um, okay. This looks like a useful uh, gist from GitHub. So we will hold on to that. Maybe it's manager manager. Um, let's try that. We'll go back to this guy. Is there a sign out? No. Manager app. Oh, that's interesting. Now we're getting, now we're getting 403. What was the service status that we were opening? Yeah, okay. So server status with admin admin works. Uh, so manager slash status with admin admin works. So let's take some notes as we go. Um, uh, stuff to try. Okay. So slash manager slash status works with basic auth admin admin and the second one that we wanted to check was manager app which is manager slash html uh does not so manager html does not work with admin admin okay um, the full port scan is finished, hasn't found anything else. Uh, let's just double check. And yeah, there's nothing there. Actually, what I haven't done is created a working directory. So I will do that now. 144 Jerry, and then I'll move my nmap star.txt into htb144 Jerry. cd htb144 Jerry. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, we need to find a way to log out. I don't know. I mean, we could just go and find the cookie and kill it, but is there a log out? No, that path doesn't work. Uh, Tomcat manager log out path. How to exit from application manager. You have to close the browser window. Tomcat manager uses basic authentication. Okay, let's try that. And we'll grab the IP again. And then we'll try a fresh window, 8080. And then we'll try the server status. Yeah, so we're still logged in as the um, admin admin. So I think we need to open up our cookies wherever those are. <laughs> Manage data. And then we will go to 10.95, 10.95, No, no cookies. Okay. Um, basic auth. Uh, yeah, it doesn't necessarily Set a cookie, does it? Um, I'm guessing. Um, I'm guessing there is not like just a native URL you can visit and it'll kill the session. Um, example to log out on Tomcat 7. Yeah, that's for a. <clears throat> and your own application, not the management application. Um, this is really awkward. Uh, maybe we just do, maybe we do, no. It's not a new tab, because that's just going to preserve the, basic auth session, I believe. 
Who's gonna go? Okay, so that's asking for it. Service status? Nope. Manager app. Okay. Right. Um let's have a look. So we know this is Tomcat seven zero eight eight. So let's figure out what we can abuse, right? Hack tricks uh XYZ. Mm, hack tricks. .xyz. Um, then we're going to search for, I don't know why, but this website just runs like crap in my browser. It is really, really slow. Let's see how we can abuse Tomcat. Okay. Or 8080. Uh, identifying the exact locations of manager and host manager. Yep, we know where they are. They're the defaults. Uh, username remuneration. Okay, we might revisit that. The manager slash HTML directory is particularly sensitive as it allows the upload and deployment of WAR files, which can lead to code execution. This directory is protected by basic HTTP with common credentials being admin, admin, Tomcat, Tomcat, admin secret, Tomcat secret, admin, to Tomcat. Um, okay. To attempt a brute force on the manager directory, one can use Hydra with that common vulnerabilities accessing auth.jsp may reveal password in a backtrace under fortunate circumstances Let's see if we're fortunate oops auth.jsp no and not uh cve mod jk for Double URL encoding path traversal. Eh, okay. Whatevs. Um, I really think this is our kind of target, right? Being able to deploy a war, a WAR, which is a um, Java application essentially. And I remember the example ones that I've got, they give you like a um, not an RCE, but kind of a web shell. So there's a form, you enter a command, it executes it and gives you the results back. So let's, yeah, this mon shell thing. Um, a Metasploit has a version and you can generate one using MSF Venom as well. Comcat war deployer. Okay, so I think the thing that we want to do is figure out, do we have default credentials for this guy? Um, so we need to go to the main manager page. So you're not authorized to view this page. If you're already configured manager and have access, use the save bookmark, you uh, may have triggered the CSRF protection. Um, once you return to this page, okay. So it's kind of like you need to go first to the server status, then here. So let's have a look. Um, Let's try a new browser window. See if we can start a new session. <clears throat> Oop, 10, 10, 10, 1, 9, 5, 80, 80. Why is that not working? Come on, oh, 
Here we go. It was probably trying HTTPS. So if we try and go straight to this manager slash HTML path, do we get, yeah, there we go. So admin admin is not privileged for slash manager slash HTML. Um, the other ones that were kind of interesting was Tomcat secret, which is actually in the text of the error page. Tomcat S3 C R E T. There you go. Right. Like default credentials, disgustingly default in the sense that it's actually listed on the 403 default error text. So yeah, that's not cool. Um, so now we can see um, the apps that are installed. So we've got no default app at the web root. Uh, we've got Tomcat documentation, examples. Yeah, okay, so this is a very default installation. We've got the manager, which we're messing with now. And now we can do the deploy, um, which is the context path. So that's the part after the URL. So whatever here. Um, XML configuration, war or directory URL, or select war file to upload. Okay. So let's get a payload going. Um, again, there is in Hacktricks, um, trying to think of the one that I've used before. I can't remember if I generated one using uh, MSF Venom or I used some random thing. I think I used this Tomcat Water Player, yeah. Tomcat Water Player. Uh, it's quite old. Tomcat Auto War Deployment and Poning Penetration Tool. Intended to leverage Tomcat credentials to automatically generate and deploy a JSP backdoor. Hmm. Um, as well as invoke it afterwards and provide a nice shell, either via web GUI, listening, port binded on remote machine, or as a reverse TCP payload connecting back to the adversary. Um, so let's just resize this a little bit. Okay. So this one seems to be a little bit more JSP based. Um, although it does look like it generates. Yeah, I mean, you can have JSP within uh, WAR deployments, right? So, all right, let's um, give it a shot. Um, Yeah, let's just do it. So we'll grab the repo, jump over to our shell, and we will do git clone. There we go. Git clone, we've grabbed all that. And let's have a look. Okay. Uh, cat requirements. I wonder if I've got, it's got a bunch of Python pit modules, uh, mechanize. Okay. Whatever. Uh, let's just do Python three on cat water player. All right. One sure not go any further without a URL. <clears throat> So you need to specify a server, okay? Which is gonna be, um, is it the actual slash manager path? Um, or is it just gonna be the root URL? Okay, so we can specify minus U minus P. Let's do that. Minus U is Tomcat. 
minus P is S E C R E T. And uh, okay, let's have a look. Do we want a reverse connection? Um, I don't know. Let's just try it with the base URL. And see what happens. All right, let's go back to here. And it's going to be HTTP. Browse to manager. Maybe no leading HTTP. Than it. Was it URL browse to manager? Mm. Looks like it's searching for the Apache Tomcat string. Okay, maybe it is slash manager slash HTML. All right. Let's uh, RTFM. All right, if you're uh, still watching, you may just notice a weird little edit there. So I actually ran out of disk space while recording, which is an epic fail. Um, yeah, didn't notice, didn't check how much uh, space was free on my uh, working volume before I started. And uh, so I think it lost about the last seven or eight minutes. So let me just quickly bring you up to date. Um, basically, was screwing around with different options to try and generate a WAR file to upload. Um, ended up um, doing a bit more Googling and found this particular payload from MSC, MSF Venom. So JSP Shell Reverse TCP. You may remember we tried this one, Java Shell uh, Reverse TCP, and it didn't work. It gave us uh, a Java exception when we tried to run it. So now what we've done is um, we've created this MSF Venom uh, payload. We've uploaded it via the manager to here slash R shell. Uh, we've uh, gone to the URL and it's created a nice little reverse shell for us here, which is now live. So this is where we're at. Uh, who am I? NT authority system. Oh my goodness. So we're actually um, running as the administrative or root user or whatever you want to call it. So let's have a look. We need to find the two. Um, we need to find the two flags. I'm guessing one is going to be in the administrator directory. Let's have a look in here. So usually on the desktop, dir flags, dir two for the price of one. Wow. Uh, two for the price of one dot txt. And there we go. Wow, that's an unusual uh, box. I've never seen that where you get, uh, you know, a, a fully privileged user straight away rather than an unprivileged and having to find a privesk. So we will grab the user dot txt. We will jump into our, uh, let's just close all this up. We don't need it and jump into our pack the box window user flag boom done submitted owned and let's grab the second one and that's it all right box owned uh full adventure mode no guided mode necessary i'm really really happy about that um, I'm like I said at the beginning, I'm super dusty because it's been some weeks since I've done any kind of hands-on lab or exercise. I have done a lot of a little bit of reading, um, uh, you know, various blogs and spending a lot of time on crypto uh, on uh, on infosec Twitter. Um, 
and just in general reading um you know about various stuff that interests me and spending time on youtube that sort of thing but no actual labs until now so it was nice to have a, an easy one to get back into i think what made that straightforward for me was that um i've come across that particular um foothold before which is uh, being able to exploit like kind of a default um, Tomcat installation where they have that management interface which lets you upload code and execute it. Um, it took a little while to figure out like what's the actual payload and and you know how to um, do I use this particular thing or that particular thing but uh, we got there in the end so cool um, looks like a nice short one to get back into it and uh, like I said I'll be continuing to practice and hone my CTF skills and um, yeah, I hope you can stick along for the journey with me. And uh, as we work towards OSCP, I've got some other videos coming out that are not uh, CTF related. There'll be uh, deep dives into, you know, various techniques and tools, uh, TTPs that uh, I've come across. Uh, I've written all the uh, notes for those. I just need to actually sit down and record them at some point. So look out for them. Uh, as always, thanks very much. And I uh, hope to see you again in another video. Cheers. Bye-bye.